like this one. We got 7u plus 1 all over u minus 8, and that fraction will be minus 1. We're going to take 1 away from it. So 1, by the way, can be written as 1 over 1. Now, we need common denominators before we add or subtract. So my denominator over here is u minus 8. So if I have a common denominator of u minus 8, then I can combine our numerators. So what I'm going to do is multiply 1 by u minus 8. But in order not to change the value of that fraction, or 1, I need to multiply the numerator also by u minus 8. It's the same thing as multiplying it by 1. Just we're, we've defined ourselves by manipulation what 1 is. We can define it ourselves. So this gives us a new expression. We've got 7u plus 1 over u minus 8. And this is minus now u minus 8 over u minus 8. So see how we have these two common denominators now. So then we can combine this numerator stuff. We got 7u plus 1. And that's minus from here. That's a u minus 8, which we do need to put in parentheses because we're subtracting u and a minus 8. And hopefully that'll make sense with what's going to happen with the operations. And in the denominator, it's just a u minus 8 because it's a common denominator. So if I change, let's give ourselves a little bit more space. If I distribute this as a negative 1, I got a 7u plus 1 minus u plus 8 all over u minus 8. And then this would simplify just by combining like, like terms. I got a 6u plus 9 over u minus 8. I, I don't think that can be simplified any further. Very good. We can take out... Whoops, I do need that. I can factor out a 3 from the 6 and the 9, so... We'll show that 2u plus 3 all over u minus 8. This would be our actual final answer there.